Hey you guys, it's me again, Jaime, and we're here at vlog 49, 49 of these things of me rambling at you daily about probably pointless shit that doesn't really matter, but it is filling the void a little bit on this pandemic shit show we currently reside in. i um, trying to make the best of it. Um, I'm already, you know, before the pandemic ever hit, every cartoonist illustrator knows this, we were already prepared for this, in the sense, indirectly, that we're shut-ins anyway. However, I'm one of those cartoonists, and I found I'm an odd one. Um, I kind of tend to like physical things. I've always liked sports. I've always, I, I love surfing and skateboarding. In my younger days, I actually used to like fighting. Yes, I used to throw chingasos all the time. Um, but, you know, this. so I like going out, is what I'm saying. I enjoy, that's because all my comics, as some of you may know, are, are autobiographical and biographical. I get these stories from living life. And you have to go out and do stuff. Then you can come home and, and do the work. Um, that is, I had in a previous vlog way back when, for those of you that are cartoonists already or aspiring cartoonists. Um, and if you want to do, even if you don't do autobio, if you do fantasy, talking animals, uh, vegetables, whatever, um, try to strike a balance, try to strike a balance between the indoors and outdoor world, just being active, it's good for you, it's healthy, I don't recommend the fighting, I got lucky a handful of times, so we'll, we'll skip past all that, but anyway, I'm really here to talk about this book I received earlier this year, it's um, the Book of Weirdo, which is put together by uh, John B. Cook, and John did a wonderful job. I've already read through a lot of it, but now I'm starting to read it from cover to cover. Um, a lot of my friends are in it. Uh, some I didn't know back then, but I'm friends with now. Other people I just admired and people I never knew about that, you know, I've discovered a lot. This was put out by R. Crum and his wife, Eileen Kuminsky Crum, in the very early 80s and went through, I think, the early 90s. And, oh, it's just, it's, it's just wonderful. The book, I have all, I don't know how many issues, 26, 27. God, I keep scratching myself. Anyway, uh, I have them all. I bought them as they came out. And they were little, little mental lifesavers for me through life. Little oasis that during, like, my graphic novel about living in the Tenderloin, uh, Weirdo was still coming out. It was the mid-80s. And so whenever one would come out, I'd go to a local comic book shop and, I'd bring it home and I'd save it for either lunchtime or, or after work, you know, and I'd have dinner, crack open a beer and lay up on my bed and read the latest issue of Weirdo, which was just, oh, and I mentioned that in my graphic novel. So I recommend this book highly. Come on, you guys got Amazon, whatever. You don't have anything to do. <laughs> Get this read. Reading is good. And it has pictures too. So there you go. Uh, speaking of which, I'm working, I'm finishing up a commission today. Um, the person that's getting this one is is getting their money's worth and then some. I have this habit of not drawing simply. Now, you can have your opinions on my drawing, and I don't mind because I'll probably agree with you. I, I'm a little bit crude, I guess, in my style, but it's very cross-hatchy detailed. And um, I, it's this, I was, you know, these are $50 commissions, and this one is probably more like a four to $500 one. Neither here nor there. You can get one, too. Just go to my webpage at corntortillapress.com and go up into the commissions page and just read the little small paragraph. And I apologize for the photo in there. It's a great piece, but I took it with my phone. It's as good as it came out. And I don't have the piece with me anymore. Of course, I sent it to the, the owner who loved it. So, oh, and last thing about Weirdo. No, I'm not in it. I uh, had four different pieces I wanted to submit to Weirdo. And the last one was in the late 80s. And it was a four pager. I even had a cover note and envelope with, with uh, the address. Didn't have postage on it yet. And I chickened out because I, I couldn't stand the rejection, I guess. So I never sent it in. I never submitted to Weirdo. I didn't submit, you know. But anyway, I didn't contribute. So there you go. That's my little story and I'm sticking to it. Finishing up the second cup of coffee. Got my water here. Uh, what will be listened to today? I don't know. I've been going through an OJ's thing. I've been listening to them, you know, uh, Love Train, For the Love of Money, all those songs. Um, they were great. Um, and then I saw recently, after listening to them, uh, 
I really like this show when I when I dial it up, I guess on YouTube most of the time now, is uh, Daryl's House, which is Daryl Hall of Hall & Oates. I don't give a shit what you think about Hall & Oates. I like a lot of their music. But uh, he has, like he had CeeLo Green on there. He had Smokey Robinson, and here he has the OJs. And that episode killed. It was great. So I recommend it, Daryl's House, if you're into music and, and are open-minded and not stuck into like, you know, if it isn't this, then I won't listen to kind of shit. All right. I swear a lot, and I really try not to, but it's just my... I have no excuse. I'm college educated. I'm, you know, all that stereotypes of like, you know, well, if you could find other words, well, apparently I fucking can't. <laughs> so there you go. I swear. But I'll try to keep it down for those sensitive ears because we do live in times where people are triggered by the the slightest thing. Let's see here. Yeah, I've gone way over time. So thanks everybody for supporting my little dopey uh, vlog here. I'll be back tomorrow. If you have to go out today, stay far, far away from people. Mask up, sanitize, wash the hands, don't lick things, don't touch your face, don't touch anything. And um, be kind. Be kind to everybody. And especially yourself. Alright guys, see you tomorrow. Thanks!